In early September, the air was just beginning to cool as the leaves hinted at their golden transformation. Maria, a dedicated school teacher, walked into her favorite coffee shop tucked away on a quiet street corner. It was cozy, a very cozy place, with worn wooden tables, soft jazz playing in the background, and the rich scent of espresso mingling with the warmth of freshly baked pastries. After a long day at school, she ordered her usual cappuccino, settled into her favorite corner, and pulled out a book. She loved the simplicity of the place. It had been her sanctuary for years, where she could unwind and let the day drift away. As she flipped through the pages, the door chimed, and a tall man in a chef's apron entered. His face flushed from the kitchen heat. He had the look of someone who worked hard but found joy in it along with a charming smile that was already warming the place up. His name was Luca, a chef at a nearby restaurant who often popped into the shop for a break in between shifts. Today, though, the usual crowd was sparse and he found himself gravitating towards Maria's corner. Mind if I sit here, he asked, gesturing to the chair across from her. Maria glanced up her eyes meeting his, and smiled. Sure, go ahead. What started as a simple conversation about coffee turned into hours of shared stories. They spoke of their love for their work, Maria's passion for teaching young minds, and Luca's joy in creating art through food. As the hours slipped away, they realized how much they had in common. Their love for Italian cuisine, traveling, and the quiet moments in life that often went unnoticed. From that day forward, they found themselves meeting at the same coffee shop, sitting at the same table and talking until the sun dipped below the horizon. Slowly but surely, they fell deeply in love their lives intertwining as naturally as the leaves falling in autumn. Luca would cook for Maria, testing new recipes, and she would tell him stories from her classroom that would make him laugh. They began to go on adventures together, weekend getaways to nearby towns, hiking in the mountains, and occasionally impromptu trips to Italy where Luca's roots were from. They explored new places, tasting local foods and finding inspiration in every corner. Their love blossomed, deepened, and after two years, Luca proposed to Maria in that very coffee shop where they first met. Their wedding was a celebration of family, friends, and food. Maria wore a simple but elegant dress while Luca cooked a feast for their guests. Life seemed perfect until a year later when Luca fell seriously ill. The once energetic chef who could spend hours in the kitchen now struggled to get out of bed. But Maria, with her unshakable love and dedication, stood by him. She nursed him back to health, spending sleepless nights by his side, ensuring he took his medication and preparing nourishing meals that helped him regain his strength. Slowly, Luca began to recover, his health improving day by day. Soon after, they welcomed their daughter, Sophia, into the world. With Luca back on his feet and their little family growing, they made a bold decision to move to Italy. Luca had always dreamed of opening his own restaurant there, and Maria, eager for a new adventure, was excited to make the dream a reality. In this picture-perfect town in Tuscany, Luca opened a restaurant and cafe that quickly became the heart of the community. 
The locals adored his food. And Maria, ever the teacher, began offering language and cooking classes in their new home. They built a life filled with laughter, love, and passion for their craft. Years passed, and every morning, as the sun rose over the hills of Tuscany, Maria and Luca would sit together in their cafe, sipping coffee and reminiscing about the day they first met in that small, cozy shop so many years ago. Their love, now stronger than ever, continued to inspire those around them as they celebrated the beautiful journey that had taken together the end.